Hello! Welcome to episode three of Liberty and Libations. I'm Tiffany Pollock. If you're new here, welcome. I am not doing a green screen today because I don't feel like it. And because I still haven't figured out how to not make my green screen do grainy stuff with white and yellow. I don't know what the deal is. I'll figure it out later. Okay. So today we're going to make a delicious cocktail that I have not named. <laughs> but it's going to coincide with my song Living For Me because I just think that this is a delicious cocktail and I made it for me. <laughs> okay, let's see here. I got my Boston shaker. I got a muddler. This thing is great. I got my little strainer dealy. And I got my jigger. I'm forgetting all my turns. Okay, first, I'm going to take a few leaves of this Thai basil that my wonderful neighbor. Thanks, Lori. Love you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Oh my God, it smells so good. I'm gonna take a couple little leaves off of this. I've been trying to keep this alive since she gave it to me Fourth of July weekend, and it's still alive by the grace of God. Do not give me plants um, because they die. I can keep children alive. I can keep animals alive. But uh, I am not a plant person. <laughs> All right, so I took a little couple leaves of this. Now, why haven't I learned my lesson? Put it in the big part. If you watch the last video, you'll know that you should mix it in the big part. <laughs> mix, mix in the big cup. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna take a little bit of sugar, just a little sprinkle. Just a little sprinkle of sugar. And now I'm gonna take my little one line. I'm just gonna kind of mush this Thai basil using both the muddler and the sugar as an abrasive to kind of, there we go. Like, Okay, next I'm going to use this Old Smoky Tennessee Moonshine and Peach. And I'm gonna take one of these drunken peaches out of here. Oh my God, these are so good. And I'm gonna muddle that too. So let's muddle up that peach and try not to get drunk in peach squirted in your face. Don't look down in the cup because you will get peached in your face. All right. Let's see, and then I'm going to add some ice. If I can get the top off of my ice thing. Look at this adorable ice receptacle that I found. <laughs> that I found at a thrift store. I love finding our stuff at thrift stores. Oh my God, I found this thing in Algiers a while back when I used to work at my funeral home and I used to spend my lunch breaks at uh, Thrift City in Terrytown. And uh, I 
found this thing called the Executeur. I'll uh, show you. Um, I'll show it to you. This is the Executeur. Ho, 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 ho. This thing was covered in dust on a shelf under a bunch of stuff. Forgotten to the world at Thrift City. Look. It's like if you need to make cocktails on the go. For like a picnic. It's got four little cups. It's got a corkscrew. It's got one of these doodads, a church key thing. It's got a little mixing spoon. It's got big cups in case you're making cocktails and you're not having shots. Okay. It's also got two spots. For two bottles of liquor. Or wine, I guess. And it also came with the vodka book, which I have not ever really looked at. But, uh, oh, the story of vodka. Oh my God. Why have I never looked at this? How to test the quality of vodka. And of course it's an advertisement for Ghibli's. Or Gilby's, I'm sorry. Gilby's. The versatile vodka. One day I'll have to do an episode about the cocktail book that my mom gave me. The Calver Party Encyclopedia, your complete guide to home entertaining. Uh, I'm going to have to do another, but we'll do that in, oh my God, it's hilarious. And then they have... Cool, vodka cocktails. Why have I never looked at this? <laughs> I've used this thing many times and I've just, look at this, martini recipes. Oh my God, why have I never looked at this? You can't buy a better vodka for love nor rubles. Gilby's vodka. You gotta love old advertisements, right? I mean, they're hilarious. Sometimes they don't hold age very well, but. Anyway, that's my executor, and I have never opened that vodka book, which is, why did I, why not? What is wrong with me? Anyway, this thing is awesome. Now I'm going to do two ounces of this old smoky peach. Two ounces of that. Two ounces of OJ. Look at this that I also found at a thrift store. Okay. And then I'm going to do one ounce of lemon juice. a half an ounce of basil simple syrup. And this is how you make basil simple syrup. I have this much basil and like a half a cup of basil. And so everything is always the same. So I'm gonna use a half a cup of basil, a half a cup of sugar, and a half a cup of water. And that's what I'm, that is, those are the ingredients. So easy. Okay. I'm just gonna roughly, very roughly, chop this. All right, I have my basil in there and I'm just gonna add my sugar, just regular old granulated sugar. And now I'm just gonna add my water and then I'm gonna turn on my stove. I'm gonna bring it to a boil and then I'm gonna turn it off immediately and just let it cool. 
and then I'll show you what I do next. Make sure you stir it too as it's heating up because you want that sugar to dissolve in there. You don't want it to just like burn at the bottom of the pan now. It's just starting to make a noise. Once you hear the noise that it's fixing to boil. Don't be fooled by phony ads or advertisement. Come to St. Germain's Furniture, where we have everyday low prices. St. Germain's Furniture, Gretna. Treat you right. The quality always exceeds the price. St. Germain Furniture. One ounce of St. Germain. This stuff is so cool. I use it in a lot of cocktails. It's elderflower liqueur. It's light. It's floral. It's lovely. We gonna shake it. I have a beautiful rocks glass made by my husband, Andrew Jackson Pollock. Look at it. It's gorgeous. Look at those lines. It's rimmed on the top with a beautiful black line and these little black lines all around it. He's so talented. Okay, I'm gonna throw some ice in here. This is my little strainy doodad. I'm gonna throw that on here. Oh my god. Now I'm just gonna put a little garnish on top to make it pretty. <gasps> Look how pretty. I'm gonna take a picture of it. It's picture perfect. <laughs> I'm spilling cocktail everywhere. Let's call Mr. Pollock and see what he thinks. Come here, babe!
So I hope y'all enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed the music video. It was filmed um, like pretty much all of my real good music videos <laughs> were filmed, uh, directed, and edited by Louis Doblin. Living For Me is a song about when I was growing up um, for about from the age of 15 to the age of 20, I was in an incredibly abusive relationship, like scary abusive. Um, and he made me feel very isolated uh, from my friends. He would beat up any of my friends who tried to help me. And uh, he gaslighted me and cheated on me. And threatened to murder me multiple times and abused me physically and mentally for five years and um, at some point I woke up and realized that I didn't deserve to be treated this way and picked up and moved to New Orleans just to get away from him. So this song was kind of a big like F you to him and to uh, other men that I grew up with uh, who, you know, always tried to put me in my place and make me feel like less of a, a human being. Um, you know, people who tried to stifle me and make me feel less worthy of happiness than I, than I realized I was. I mean, everyone's to be themselves unabashedly and you know it took me a while to realize that you know growing up as a woman in the south uh, was not easy for me because I was always very strong-willed and didn't take well to being told what to do or how to be or who to be that sort of thing. So I would always fight back and then that would always get me into trouble. Um, not that it was bad that I was fighting back, it was good that I was fighting back. And when I realized that fighting back wasn't wrong and standing up for myself was not wrong and that I was not wrong, <laughs> it was a experience moving out to New Orleans being independent getting away from him getting away from that environment being away from all the toxic people and toxic environments that I was immersed in at the time you know moving to New Orleans got me away from all of that being on my own realizing that I can handle this on my own and that I am smart and powerful and worthy 
of love and appreciation, but I don't have to put up with people who want to treat me like less than human. So anyway, that's what living for me is about. I know all my songs, a lot of my songs are so dark. But you know, this album is about my liberation. And so a lot of these songs are about my coming into my own and realizing my self-worth and realizing that I am worthy of love and so are you. So are you. You are worth it. You are worthy. And don't, don't take any lip from nobody. So anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, um, please like and subscribe. If you make this cocktail, I want to know what you think. Tell me all about it. Tell me what you think of the music video. If you've listened to the whole album, I want to know. Tell me whatever you got to say. <laughs> let's, let's talk. <laughs> anyway, I'll see y'all in the next one. I'm going to try to continue to do these every week. This one I'm throwing together at the last minute because, you know, I had a lot of time to put these videos together and I'm just intimidated by this whole YouTube thing and uh, I have been procrastinating and I am the queen of procrastination <laughs> so anyway uh, I hope y'all <laughs> enjoyed this and I am hoping to have another one up by next week and if not give me another week and I'll have one up <laughs> um, anyway thanks a lot and